Super dogs here. Desmond is just showing his taillights to the field. A seven point lead on everybody. Kirk, you and I have work to do. Yeah. LC, get us started. Who are you picking? Georgia Tech is minus four against Pitt. Georgia Tech has lost the last three games against Pitt, but covered the spread in four of the last five matchups. Georgia Tech gets a second straight upset today in beautiful downtown Atlanta. Well, there's another win for you. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'm stumbling along. I figured, why not go out to the Pac-12, Oregon, wow. Stanford, eight points. I think Stanford stays close, and I think Stanford can actually win this game outright. Tanner McGee's giving him a lift. Look out for the Cardinal today. You know, I was actually going to go Ole Miss, but when I found out Mingo wasn't available, I said, I'm going to go Mississippi State. I can't believe Texas A&M, after that loss a week ago, is still favored in this game. So I like Mississippi State to uh, defeat the Aggies. Give me some Troy over South Carolina. South Carolina, they have trouble scoring the football, okay? Troy doesn't score that well either, but Troy's defense plays good. Bear was on board with this earlier. I don't know if that helps or it doesn't. Give me some Troy. Hey, remember old Dave Doran? Cigar Solo Cup, yeah. Red Solo Cup after beating Clemson. Well, one day, your cigar and Red Solo in the next. Your oh. Marlboro butts out of the ashtray and backwash from the bottle oh, when no. Austin Kendall and Louisiana Tech come to town getting what is that like 19 and a half that's a bunch of points oh man you know i'm going to tell you remember louisiana tech lost to mississippi state by one and they clobbered nc state here are celebrity guest picker standings kane brown continuing to lead the way but there are a couple of former celebrity guest pickers that the targets of our current guy harris english who's here got a Ryder cup replica with us to a four-time winner on tour you wanted to make sure that you beat dustin johnson justin thomas is that is that the main goal? Here? Exactly, exactly. JT went two and eight. I heard Justin went eight and two. So I just got to <laughs> ten and zero would be great this week. Just make sure they, he's starting to feel the amp too. Those beloved yeah. dogs getting in there too. As it's time for our Saturday selections, brought to you by Coors Light. And let's start with one in Camp Randall, Michigan, and Wisconsin. I see this being a defensive struggle. I think it's going to come down to whichever defense can create some turnovers and give their offense a short field. I like uh, Michigan. This one, a very close one. I like I like Wisconsin here. Uh, playing in front of those fans in Wisconsin last yeah. week at the Ryder Cup. Captain Steve Stricker's at the game tonight. So I, I'm I'm thinking Wisconsin's going to take it and, and put a put a victory on the board. They're one and two right now. So get a two and two. They're going to be off off to the races. Not so fast, my man. That's a lousy putt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Michigan upsets Wisconsin. Well, Michigan's offense is the big key. Can they throw the ball well enough? I feel like Wisconsin's backed into a corner, playing at home, desperation mode for the Badgers starting off one and three. I think they find they find a way to get it done. Close game. I think Wisconsin wins. TCU Ooh. has won six of the last seven against Texas. Who wins? I like TCU to lose this game because their defense hasn't been able to stop anybody. I love Casey Thompson. What he brings to the Longhorns offense, I'm going Texas. I love Austin, Texas. Got two of my Ryder Cup teammates, Scotty Scheffler, yeah. Jordan Spieth, big, big Texas fan, so I'm, I'm looking to Texas to, to win this game. Nice putt. Nice putt. <laughs> Texas is looking forward to Oklahoma and make it close though it's almost close. becoming it's almost becoming so obvious about texas i think you got to be very careful close game but texas wins and they head into dallas next week against Ooh. the ou sooner that great ucla run defense against arizona state as we go to the pac 12 sun devils or bruins tonight i'm going bruins i like what they do offensively i think that the bruins are going to win this game convincingly yeah, I like, I like UCLA as well. I think Chip Kelly is a, a heck of a ball coach, and I think they're going to win this game pretty big. You say who? The Bruins. UCLA. UCLA. Who, what's that show over there? This is the Ryder Cup right here, Lee. Man, nice bet. <laughs> Fighting Kelly's win again. Fighting Kelly's. I, I think we know that Chip Kelly's offense is going to be very balanced in this game. The question for me is Arizona State. Does Jaden Daniels' ability to run and throw, can he stay up and make it a shootout against the Bruins? I think he'll play well, but not quite well enough. I'm going with UCLA to win another one. 81% saying it's the Bruins. It's be a little bit quicker here. Oregon and Stanford Ducks have had all kinds of problems when they're in this spot against the Cardinals. Yeah, I tell you what, not that Kirk is in closing the gap, but since it's a super dog, I have to go against Stanford. So go, go Ducks. <laughs> I like the Ducks as well. They were so impressive coming to Ohio State and beating them. So I'm, I'm all on the Ducks. Nice, nice putt. Nice putt. Nice. <laughs> you, hey, 
Oregon stays undefeated. I, I've loved Oregon all year. I just have a, just a weird feeling that, that they potentially sleepwalk a bit here against Stanford. I think Stanford Tanner McGee is the real deal. He's given them a, a much better offensive approach, taking care of the ball, and a stretch in the defenses. I like Stanford here to win in an upset. Yeah, that's a good pick with 92% on Oregon. Real quickly, Baylor, Oklahoma State unbeaten, both of them. I'm going to go with Oklahoma State because I think they're tested. Yeah, I love Stillwater. Been there many a time. Been to Eskimo Joe's, one of my favorite places. So <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, Oklahoma State. I'm for Oklahoma State and Eskimo Joe's. Oklahoma <laughs> State. I'm going to go with Baylor with the defense and the way they've been playing. And I also think Jerry uh, Bohan is going to make enough plays. Now let's join the Redcoat band as they're playing the National Anthem. Nothing that quite gets the adrenaline going in a big game, the end of the national anthem, and now the temperature is starting to rise in here. We have a few more picks. One in the SEC tonight. Auburn hasn't won in Baton Rouge since 1999. Hmm. Bayou Bengals or Auburn Tigers? They won't win tonight either. I like what I'm seeing out of LSU. Max Johnson is starting to really develop a rhythm offensively, so I'm going with LSU. LSU, Baton Rouge is one of the best away games I've ever been to. It's yeah. a night game tonight. LSU is not losing today. Harris, you've been looking at my cheat. <laughs> not so fast as you. Hey, LSU has won 10 straight against Auburn in Baton Rouge. LSU. I want to see how Bo Nix plays in this game. I think he's going to get the start. How well can he play? Can he avoid turning it over and dealing with all the adversity that Death Valley has to offer? And then the LSU Tiger defense has got to play better. Play with some pride, especially at home against Tank uh, Bixby and Bo Nix. All right, so look at all of the LSU up there, and the fans say Auburn, 55%. Uh, of Florida has owned Lexington, Kentucky. Do they do it again tonight? They will continue to tonight because they can run the ball. One of the best in the nation, number three in the nation, running the ball, 320 yards a game. I'm going with the Gators. I'm, uh, I'm on Kentucky. I played with uh, Coach Stoops in a pro-am. Awesome guy. Love Lexington. I'm looking for them to pull the upset right here. I thought you were going to win this thing until then. <laughs> bad pick, bad pick. Florida, Florida. But Mark Stoops, I mean, he's right there with no, Florida no, every Florida. single year. He's beaten them one time. It's going to be a competitive game. My concern with Kentucky is that they take care of the football. Minus nine in turnover margin. I think Florida's defense is the difference in the game, along with Emory Jones taking care of the ball. I like the Gators to win a close one. And this afternoon in Bryant-Denny, Kiffin against Saban, Matt Corral against Bryce Young, Ole Miss or Alabama. I think this game comes down to Bill O'Brien versus DJ, DJ Durkin. I think those two coordinators are going to determine who wins this game, and I think that Alabama is going to win a close one, but I give it to the Tide. I like Alabama here. I know T-Town's going to be rocking today. Nick Saban's, I don't think, ever lost an assistant coach, so I think he's going to keep it going today and Bama on top. Alabama, good pick. Alabama, real close. Take the over at 80. <laughs> Alabama. See, I don't think you take the over. I think Alabama's defense makes adjustments from last year where they gave up over 600 yards to this Ole Miss offense. Look for more of a conservative approach. They were way too complex, did too much a year ago. This year, they sit back in zone, keep everything in front of them. I think they played very well on that side of the ball. And then I think Bryce Young. No one's talked about Bryce Young all week. He's going to have a big day today throwing the ball. Cincinnati. Take the over. Alabama scores 90. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Cincinnati and Notre Dame played for the first time since 1900 when Kirk's favorite historical player, Pat O'Day, had become head coach yeah. of the Irish. Yeah. That was 58 nothing Notre Dame. Much closer today. Who wins it? 100% much closer. You know, I, I want to say Cincinnati. I love Luke Fickle, Desmond Ritter, but it's just something about Notre Dame. They find ways to win games. I think at home, they're going to find a way to win a close one. I got to go Notre Dame. 
I agree, Desmond. Um, I went to the Georgia Notre Dame game a few years ago. I, I saw firsthand how hard it was to play in South Bend, and I, I like Notre Dame here. I'm telling you, you're going to win this thing. If it wasn't <laughs> for the Kentucky pick, you'd win it. <laughs> Luck of the Irish. Luck of the Irish will, will be tested today because I think their offensive line is a legitimate concern. I think today, Luke Fickle's defense, all, Marcus Freeman's the defense coordinator last year at Cincinnati. Now he's in South Bend. I think the story will be the Cincinnati defense. The, they are going to mix it up, confuse Notre Dame's offensive line, close game. The difference is the Bearcats defense and UC pulls off the upset. And that would really put them in good stead to I guess be able to. Upset. They're, favorite. They, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're slight favorite. favorite. It feels like an upset. It feels like it yeah. because it would put them in college football playoff consideration. Not that they aren't already, but they need that signature win. Much like Arkansas is looking for today. We wonder what the gap is between the elite and the rest of the field. Well, today is going to help tell us. Arkansas with their two deep guys of super seniors and scrappy guys against Georgia's roster full of five stars eager to have Arkansas turn off that jukebox. Coming out here with a statement, just knowing that we're the number two team in the nation. So we got to set a standard out there. And we've been counted out many times, and now we just Proving everybody wrong. Somebody trying to come after you and they're going to give you your, their best. You need to make sure SEC teams feel you. They need to feel you. Yeah, I feel like all the pressure's on Georgia. We're ranked at eight, so we just want to keep climbing up the ladder. The odds are stacked against us. That's just how we want it, and That's just how we like it. Coming in this Saturday, we're going to try to shock the world. All right, no pick from Herbie. He's going to go join Fowler and call the game shortly. You are picking. Who wins? I tell you what, I was really confident when JT Daniels was the starter. I like Stetson Bennett. I think he's, he can manage an offense, but this defense is one of the best. It's like college football version of the 85 Bears right now. So I got to go with the Georgia Bulldogs. I like it, Desmond. They just played the battle hymn here. Uh, this crowd is rocking for a noon game. I think we're ready to go. And Kirby said this team needs to be elite, and this is a game they have to win, so I'm going with the dogs. Great pick, great pick. Where's Uga? I, I don't think they didn't bring Uga up Uga here. not here? No, Uga's not here. He's let me, here. Let he's me talk here. to Uga anyhow. Uga, did you know that your offense in the last three games is averaging 52 points a game? Yeah. Where's Uga? Uga, did you know your defense is the number one scoring defense in America? Yeah. Uga, did you know you're a 19 point favorite? I'm going with Uga's team. Give me that. There he is. 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 There he Hey, Kirk. We're going to take off, go have, a, have a great call with Chris Fowler, Holly Rowe on the sidelines, Stetson Bennett's going to start at quarterback. Great to see you, Harris. Good luck to the dogs. Harris English from the Ryder Cup champions, four-time winner on tour. Get the picture now. The stadium's going to be worse than bonkers. Fowler's going to get ready for Georgia and Arkansas.